You know, Eisenhower tells a story in this book I mentioned earlier about uh, uh, at ease. And it's the story of uh, Frank Haskell, who's a 36-year-old lieutenant aide to camp to, Josh, uh, to uh, General Gibbon, who's the commander in the center of the Union line on third day. And Eisenhower tells a story. He says, you've got 160,000 men, 90,000 Federals, 70,000 Confederates locked in mortal combat in a space hardly more than a mile and a half square. And the actions of a second lieutenant, a second lieutenant, are going to have consequence. Why? Gibbon is wounded early in the artillery barrage. And as the Confederate assault comes forward, Haskell, the aide, realizes that his general's not there, but the attack is coming right for his point, his position. What would the general tell me to do if he were here? He would say, go get reinforcements. And so Haskell, on his own, rides off to General Hayes in the north. General Hayes, we need reinforcements now. General Hayes, thinking the request comes from General Gibbons, says, my compliments to General Gibbon, Gibbons. Tell him I will send reinforcements. And Haskell says, and they cannot come too quickly. And then he rides to the south and goes to General Harrow. He says, Harold, we need men. And Harold says, they're on their way. And suddenly, if you're an attacking Confederate, what you see is not Union forces beginning to turn and move away from the fight. Rather, you see columns of blue infantry running to the angle, running to the point of decision. Must have been heartily disheartening. And yet it was Frank Haskell, this lieutenant, who on his own initiative brought those reinforcements to the critical place at the critical time.